Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women more on their bodies and hormones and ways you can use your whole food nutrition to align with your system and get and keep a better result. I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon and the host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution, which if you have not checked it out, go and check it out, subscribe. I've got some amazing interviews coming up and being released. <laughs> so amazing. And right now you can join the wait list for the 12 week menopause challenge. I'm going to put a link right now in the comments for you. You don't want to miss out on this. I am giving away a ton of amazing content and you get a little sneak peek of what it's like to be in the challenge on this wait list. So super easy. Just click the link, fill it out. You get added. It's totally free to do. Um, and, and you get to try it out. Now, this is a question I get a lot from women. I get emails, I get messages, I get you know comments and questions from women literally all over the planet every day. Um, and it's, it's kind of amazing because it's, it's kind of a cool thing to think about, you know, things that I can talk about or educate women on and it reaches women all over the globe. The other thing is that it makes me frustrated because there's women all over the globe that are still not understanding or not being told how their bodies and systems work. <sighs> so again, it makes me even more fired up for the work that I do for women. Um, and just trying to get this out there and again, align your regular whole foods with where your body's at to get and keep better results. Okay. Now when we look at like, what's the right diet for menopause? Mm, I'm going into menopause or I'm in perimenopause or I'm in menopause. <clears throat> what should I be eating? What should I be eating? And, and a lot of times that phrase is, oh, I'm like, oh my gosh, no. It's like, oh, should I be eating bananas or apples? Like, is that better? Or is there like one food that I should be eating? No, your entire outlook on food should be different. Everything about how you eat should be different. Why? Because you have a new body now. When your body goes through menopause, there's this entire hormonal shift. Chemically, everything is different. You have a different system now. So you should be eating differently from there on out. It's not better, it's not worse, it just it should be different. But when you eat differently, when it matches that new menopausal body, it's incredible how different you feel. You're gonna have more energy, you're gonna have better sleep, you're gonna be able to boost your metabolism naturally, easily, because you're doing all of these different things for your system for where it's at right now. Yeah, pretty amazing, right? So oftentimes people will say, sorry, my lash is bugging me. <laughs> there we go. Um, so when people talk about, oh, uh, I'm in menopause and I gained that weight around my midsection, I'm um, having a hard time losing it. Okay. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Mm, how about this though? How about instead of just focusing on the midsection and abdomen, we really look at other things as well. We really look at, okay, how's your energy? Because if you are too exhausted to go to the gym, if you're too fatigued to really get through your day, it doesn't matter, you know, all these other things. You're not going to have the same energy when you're going from there and you're to, to really get your metabolism going to push it, right? So instead of just like eating less calories, let's fuel your body for what it really needs. And the main thing, and I talk about this all the time, I know I do, but the main thing there is protein. Protein, protein, protein. This is not about eating less. This is not about calories. This is not about, um, what should my macros be? Just eat more flippin' protein. It takes more protein to do the same job that it used to do in your body. So if you're eating the same amount of protein now in menopause that you were five years ago, 10 years ago, it's the wrong amount of protein. It's gotta be more. That's gonna help your system build and maintain the muscle tissue it needs, the energy that it needs. Every system in your body uses protein. You need more for this phase and stage of life. You just do. So eating more protein is going to be the number one thing to fuel your system. Yes. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about here is carb. Oh, this is the slippery slope of, that's an R by the way. Sorry, that looked a little weird. Um, this is a slippery slope when we talk about carbs, carbs and menopause and sugars and things, because here's what happens. People can stop eating carbs. Like if I stopped eating carbs for a week, I would lose probably 15 pounds. 
I would be a miserable cow. <laughs> I would be, I would be a heinous bear. Ugh, no one would want to be my friend. And I wouldn't want to be anybody's, I wouldn't want to be my own friend. I wouldn't want to talk to me if I didn't have carbs in my life. Just saying. Um, yes. But a lot of times women will think, oh, I'm, I shouldn't eat carbs. But again, if you cut them out, you'll see like this rapid change. That's not necessarily a good thing, right? And especially long-term solutions, long-term everything. It's not beneficial to have really low carb long-term. Um, it's essential for your energy. It's essential for your nervous system. You actually need carb to help upload the full amount of protein that your body is needing. So even if you're upping protein, but you're not eating carb, your body can't absorb and utilize that protein. So you need both, right? Um, but the caveat here is, is that when your body's in, in menopause, it actually processes carbohydrates differently, uh, simple versus complex. So you do have to have a good balance. You have to go through that differently. And, um, and in the 12 week menopause challenge, I actually show women how to do carb cycling for the female body. So it's successful. Um, and you have and see and feel results with it. And, and it's a whole different result, a whole different ball game. So that's the one thing too, when you're, when you're looking at, okay, what type of diet should I be eating? And it's not about cutting things out. Please do not cut out carbs. Please, please don't. Um, and it's about, it's about fueling and fueling with protein and getting the right kind of carbs and everything else. The last thing I want to talk about when we talk about diet, right? Oh, diet or my nutrition or what should that be for menopause? The other thing I, that people don't mention enough about is stress and the stress impact of what that does to your digestive system, right? Because when your stress increases, your digestion decreases, your digestive system changes in menopause anyway, right? It's going to affect your sleep and it's going to affect your energy and all of those things. When your body goes through menopause, it processes stress very differently and stress is one of the number one reasons and like it's your hormone changes and your body processes stress differently. Boom. All of a sudden you get that tire around your midsection. So again, you can be eating all the perfect things. You can be doing all of the perfect dietary things, but if you're not handling the stress differently now, again, new body. So if you say 10 years ago, you'd be like, Oh, when I get stressed, I just do this thing and I just, it helps and the stress goes away and all that other stuff. Great. Great. Like, like super. But you have a new body now and it's processing and handling stress differently now. So if you're not changing up that tactic, it's not able to go through it. That's why it's having a negative effect. So dietary wise, yes, there's foods you can eat, right? There's different things you can do, but overall taking care of that stress. And one of my favorite things that I talk about is using adaptogens for women and really managing and mitigating the effect of stress. That's really helpful. It has this whole trickle down effect though. That, that changes everything from there on out for women. So that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, again, please click on that link there in the comments, get on the wait list. Um, so you can get even more amazing info there. Uh, but please don't cut out carbs. <laughs> that's the last thing I'm going to say. Please don't cut out carbs. Um, the next 12 week menopause challenge, we start July 1st. So get on the wait list. Be one of the first to know when we open the cart, when we, when I release special things in that group, you're going to know about it right away. You don't want to miss out. I'm really, really excited to see you in there. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And if you found this helpful, I would so love and appreciate you sharing this message with other people. All right. I will see you later.